out in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that your blood prevails over every word curse. Your blood prevails over every generational curse. Your blood, your blood, your blood. We speak your blood today. Your blood, your blood has not lost its power. It goes to the lowest valley and it reaches to the highest mountain. We plead the blood of Jesus over our spouses. Come on and open up your mouth. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children. We plead the blood of Jesus over our family, over our mothers, over our fathers, over our pastors, over our first family. We plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. 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 The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. 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 We plead the blood. Your blood. Your blood has power. 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 Your blood. Oh, Shaya Tabahai. Yandarabo Shukonabasiata. Yes, we thank you for your blood. Your blood was shed for the remission of our sins. So we come before you today asking that you will forgive us. Forgive us for every sin, every idle word, every idle thought, every deed that has been done in this body. We ask that you will forgive us, Father. Bring us into right standing with you. In the name of Jesus. And so we thank you right now that your blood prevails. Your blood still works. There's power in the name of Jesus. We call on your name today. There's no other name we know. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at your name. Cancer has to bow to the name of Jesus. All destruction has to bow to the name of Jesus. So we call on your name today. Save our children by your name. In the name of Jesus. Save our spouses by your name. Save, save, save by your name. In the name of Jesus. We bow to your name today. We lift up our hands and we call on your name we call on the name of Jesus 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 we open up our mouths and we declare your name we declare your name today we declare your name today your name is Jesus Your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Jesus. We bow to your name. We exalt that name. We exalt your name. We magnify that name. We make that name big. The name of Jesus. You are a strong tower. You are a strong tower. The righteous run in. And we find safety in the name of Jesus. We're safe because of your name. We're safe because of your blood. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe by the name of Jesus. So we thank you tonight, Father. We thank you tonight that we find safety in you. We thank you tonight that we're drenched in your blood. That the enemy cannot trace us because of your blood. It is your blood that gives us strength. It is your blood that gives us the power. We thank you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that there's power in your name tonight. 
thank you oh father and so we thank you tonight that every need that is in this house you know us name by name and so we thank you oh god that you've gathered us in this place to bless us collectively and to bless us individually so we thank you right now god that you know what's in our hearts you know what's troubling us you know our burdens you know what we left at home and we speak by faith now that all is well we speak it by faith in the name of jesus we get it in our souls we get it in our spirit that all is well it is well when peace like a river attended my way when sorrows like sea billows roll oh, whatever my lot whatever my lot whatever comes my way whatever you allow to happen it is well we speak it in our spirits we get it in our spirits that all is well in the name of Jesus all is well in the name of Jesus speak it into your spirit speak it into your soul put it into the atmosphere that it is well all is well no matter what comes my way it is well I find peace in you Jehovah Shalom the God of peace you are my God of peace in the name of Jesus so we thank you right now father that you are our peace in the name of Jesus we are not losing our minds we find peace in you in the name of Jesus we have clarity in the name of Jesus so we thank you right now God for every spirit of bondage we loose it in the name of Jesus we will be able to flow in you we will be able to flow in the spirit and allow you to have your way and so we thank you right now father in the name of Jesus that you oh God are Jehovah Rapha our God that heals you don't change you are a healer so we thank you right now that your word declares that healing is the children's bread in the name of Jesus so we eat upon our healing today healing in our emotions healing in our relationships healing in our church healing in our world healing in our government healing 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 heal us oh God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we need to be healed cleanse us oh God in the name of Jesus we need to be cleansed we need to be purged oh cleanse us in your presence oh God take away everything that's not like you cleanse us purge us until we look like you until we talk like you until we walk like you cleanse us purge us take it away take the appetite away oh god we don't need it whatever it is that's hindering our purpose whatever it is that's hindering us from moving in the things of you take it away we lift up our hands in surrendering because you're not a rapist huh? you are a gentleman so if we want to keep it you won't take it but if we lift up our hands and open up our mouths in surrendering to you take it away whatever it is in the name of Jesus we thank you right now that you are not slack concerning your promises your promises are yes and amen and so we thank you right now that we come in agreement with the heavenly host and we say yes to your will today we say yes to your way today in the name of Jesus we speak right now that curses are broken in the name of Jesus we thank you right now oh God that the bloodline curse comes to an end today we cease it in the name of Jesus we cease and assist in the name of Jesus you can no longer hold us bound you can no longer hold us hostage we speak right now to every generational curse in the name of Jesus lack poverty sickness or uh, mental illness we come against it in the name of Jesus murder anger we call it out in the name of Jesus fornication and adultery
debauchery we call it out in the name of Jesus alcoholism drug addiction we call it out in the name of Jesus we thank you right now that we shall stand and declare the very works of you oh, you called us out of darkness into the marvelous light so we thank you right now Jesus we thank you right now father we clap our hands and bless you we open up our mouths and give you glory in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands just be seated in the presence of the Lord just for one moment just for one moment just be seated for one moment in the presence of the Lord If you don't mind, just lift your hand just a little bit. Just maybe halfway up. If everybody would do that, that would be great. Father, we thank you. Again, for the call. For the summons. And most of all, we thank you for our obedience to respond to your call and your summons now I want you to take those hands that you have lifted I need everybody to do this because the Bible says in Psalms 47 oh clap your hands all ye people and shout unto God with a voice of triumph oh clap your hands all ye people Just clap. Don't, don't, don't say nothing. Just clap. Well, clap your hands, all ye people. Come on. Come on. It's all right. And shout. No, no, no. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Whatever you're going through, you've gotten over it. I said with a voice of triumph. Whatever you've been faced with, you have the victory over it. So shout with the voice of... Listen. Shanana mando shaya. Shidiriosha. Ishkmandolobo. Oh, Jesus, listen, believers, we're not going to be here all night like we thought. There's something God wants to do right now. But let me tell you, I could hear the woman of God praying, hear mother uh, exhorting. The musicians, we were, there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect. And we can, we can keep going or we can stop and connect. I've been doing this for a very long time, beloved, for years. And I understand the dynamics of the spirit. And too often we just keep pushing over things instead of addressing them. Nobody has time to be out here at midnight and not get a breakthrough. I'm gonna find me somebody to talk to if it ain't you. There's some people here who are not just here for a breakthrough, they're here on an assignment. Some of us, like me and like others, have been fighting influenza and I'm just getting over a real sick. But God said, you got to be where I tell you to be. So for some of us, ain't just being at church at night. It's God has called me here. So we got to connect. If you didn't come to connect, you can go home right now. You are dismissed. But those who came to connect, I want you to open up your mouth and shout right now. Come on, if you begin to praise him, there's something in the heavenlies. There's something in the heavenlies that God is trying to drop down in the earth realm. But you got to open up and praise him together. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Ah. In my holy mountain, sound the alarm in Zion. The sound of a call, a Zion arise, arise, awake, 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 and put on thy strength. I called you here. I 
summoned you here. I brought you to this place. I've given you an assignment. And all we have to do over the next few minutes is raise up a praise and make this place sound like heaven. Because when we sound like heaven, he'll inhabit this place. When we sound like heaven, he'll sit down in this place. I need five of y'all in each section. That's the crowd. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. There's another level, there's another level, there's something deeper for you, there's something deeper for you. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. But don't stop praising, keep rocking, just rock, just move. Sit down, but move, sit down, but keep moving. Clapping and rocking the same, thank you, Jesus. Keep the atmosphere charged. Keep the atmosphere charged with your praise. Keep it charged with your expectation. Keep it charged with your faith tonight. Because tonight uh, there shall be miracles. Uh, I said tonight uh, there shall be signs and wonders uh, in the heavens. Uh, tonight is a night of transformation. Uh, and because he called us here, he'll meet us where we are. Uh, somebody cry, Hosanna! Let me say this. Uh-huh. Don't stop. Don't stop. Mama no no bosha. He no 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 bosha. No no mama no no bosha. Yeah 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 it's been too long since I had a dip. It's been too long since I had an outpour. It's been too long in my soul. <laughs> my soul. My soul is thirsty tonight. My soul is thirsty tonight. I'm thirsting for the living water. I'm hungry for that living bread. Shot yes. You see, church, whatever we're going to get, woman of God, we're going to get it together. Kushma, mother, whatever we're going to get, we're going to get together. This is the season of the corporate anointing. This is the book of Acts personify that when they come together in one place and they are with one accord the Holy Ghost falls on all of them this is the year our children are going to be baptized in the Holy Ghost our spouses are going to be baptized in the Holy Ghost this is the year our preachers are going back to the altar for another dip of the Holy Ghost our missionaries our mothers and deacons are not going to be in the offices they're going to be in the power of the Holy Ghost somebody cry oh you're free in this atmosphere to find you a place to cry out you're not here to be entertained you didn't come here to see a show or to spectate what God is doing you came to receive what you need for the entire year and I decree and declare to you right now that in this building and hovering over this place is a deposit from the Holy Ghost an impartation that's necessary for us to make it in this hour and you gotta open up your spirit as wide as you can and the more you 
you open up, uh, the more he's going to pack it in. Uh, how much can you receive tonight? Uh, how hungry are you in the building tonight? Uh, and the more hungry you are, uh, and the more you open up uh, and let the Spirit of God uh, pour into you. Uh, if you need to walk, walk. Uh, if you need to kneel, kneel. Uh, if you need to run, run. Uh, if you need to cry, cry. Uh, there's an anointing uh, that's being poured out in the building. Uh, and God's not waiting. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, on a form or a fashion. Uh, he's here right now uh, to give you what you need. Uh, I cast the devil out uh, of every situation. Uh, I cast the devil out uh, of every mind. Uh, every circumstance. Uh, that's got you heavy every spirit of destruction every spirit of heaviness I bind it now in the name of Jesus I decree liberty I decree freedom I decree power in this atmosphere and tonight is the night you're going to drink from the fountain of life you're going to drink from the wells of salvation you're going to drink uh, from the river uh, of God. Uh, tonight is the night. Uh, open up church. Uh, God, I need you uh, like I've never uh, needed you before. Uh, I know uh, that I'm the bishop. Uh, I know God. Uh, I'm the pastor. Uh, I know I'm the elder. Uh, I know I'm the mother. Uh, I know my title. Uh, but God, uh, there's a hunger. Uh, in my spirit huh, for you huh, like I've never had huh, you before huh, fill my cup huh, until it overflows huh, fill my soul huh, I'm waiting on you huh, I'm waiting on you huh, I'm patiently huh, waiting on you huh, only you can heal huh, only you can deliver huh, only you can set free huh, only you can make whole huh, somebody cry Jesus huh, we call Jesus huh, the righteous son of God uh, somebody call Jesus uh, the I am that I am uh, Jesus uh, the captain uh, of the host uh, of Israel uh, call him Jesus uh, the lion uh, of the tribe uh, of Judah uh, call him Jesus uh, the Alpha uh, and the Omega uh, the first uh, and the last uh, the beginning uh, and the end uh, the rose uh, of Sharon, uh, the Pharisee uh, among 10,000, uh, the battle axe, uh, the shield, uh, the buckler, uh, the high tower, uh, the refuge, uh, and strength. Uh, come on, call him. Uh, if you call him, uh, he's going to answer. Uh, he's going to answer you. Uh, tonight's tonight uh, of accelerated uh, answers in prayer. Uh, tonight's tonight uh, where the dam uh, is going to break uh, and the waters of the spirit are going to flood our souls somebody cry even me let some church follow me God I'm so hungry I'm so thirsty do it again baptize me afresh pour out your spirit over me again somebody cry holy 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 is your name your name is righteous God you're altogether right your judgments are sure your righteousness is everlasting your scepter is a scepter of a righteousness you stand alone in who you are you stand alone in what you've done and so tonight we come as empty vessels to a full fountain we come tonight uh, with our cups out uh, we come tonight uh, waiting uh, to be filled by you uh, my soul is waiting uh, fill my cup tonight uh, let it overflow uh, fill me God uh, from the top of my head uh, to the soles of my feet uh, baptize me again uh, send fresh fire uh, fresh anointing uh, in my life uh, anoint my gifts uh, all over again uh, I want to be used uh, 
for your glory. I want to be used for your honor. Get the glory out of my life. Whatever you do, God, don't take your spirit away from me. God, do what you have to do. Chastise me. Rebuke me. Reprove me. Wash me. Purge me. Make me over. I am the clay. You are the potter. I'm on your wheel tonight. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Establish your rule. In me, O oh God. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. O oh Lord, in me, have thy own way. I am the clay. You're the potter tonight. Spin me, God. Get the mars out. Get the blemishes out. Wash me until I'm new. Purge me till I look like you. Purge me till I walk like you. Go down in my belly and up with every way. That's not like you. If you find anything in me, oh God, that does not please you. Tonight my soul, I say take it away. Take it away, God. Every evil way, every crooked way. Take it out and straighten me. Wash me. Wash me. I want to be clean. Wash me. I want to be holy. Wash me. I want to be right. I want to be right. I want to be right. When it's all said and done, I want to be right. I want you to see yourself in me. Every God, every selfish way, every fleshly way, everything in me that stands in the way of your glory, take it away. Everything in me that hinders your spirit, take it away. Personality, clicks, disposition, everything like me that's not like you. I want to be more like you. I want to walk like you. I want to talk like you. I want to live like you. I want to speak like you. I want to do those things that please you. I just want to please you with my life. I want to please you with my testimony. God, give me a sure testimony. Holiness becomes thine house. Oh Lord, forever. Your word declares through the Apostle Peter, we ought to be holy as you are holy. So tonight, do for us what you did for the prophet Isaiah. Do for us what you did in the year that King Azariah died. Show us your glory. Let us see your glory. Let us see your power. Take the coals from the altar. Put them on our lips tonight. Let the blood that Jesus said on Calvary uh, be applied uh, to every spot tonight uh, every wrinkle tonight uh, take it away take it away take it away every habit that I can't break take it away everything that I'm doing that's not like you take it away sanctify my feet I want my feet to only walk in the path that you lead sanctify my hands that I was touch not the unclean thing sanctify my ears my ear gates sanctify my eye gates he come up I'll set nothing evil before my eyes sanctify my mind hallelujah I want the mind of Christ I want the mind of God we bring down every imagination every vain imagination every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ we bring it into captivity we speak to our mind tonight uh, be purified uh, be renewed uh, in the spirit uh, of our mind uh, we take off uh, the old man and we put on the new man uh, in righteousness uh, somebody say yes Lord uh, open up your mouth uh, and tell him yes uh, yes to your will uh, come on tell him yes uh, yes to your way come on uh, yes to your plan God uh, have your way in me have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. 
have your way yeah Jesus yeah Jesus sanctify us sanctify us make us fit for the master's use make us ready and prepare us for every good work in the name of Jesus search us search my heart search my mind search my will tonight I'm an open book see see me for where I am and help me help me help me to become that son help me to become that daughter that you're calling for I want to be right I want to be right yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know my secrets. Oh, my, 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 you know my secrets. You know my struggles. There's nothing about me that's hid from you. There's nothing about me. You do not know it altogether. Even my thoughts are far off. God should know them. And when nobody's around, when the lights are out, when nobody's watching, you know the struggle of my mind. You know the tears that I cry. I love a kosher. And tonight, I don't want to hide anymore. I want to come clean. I want you to do for me what only you can do. I got some shackles I can't tell the saints about. I got some struggles. I can't testify there are some things about me I can't tell nobody but you already know it you know my down settings you know my uprisings you know my strengths you know my weaknesses you know God when I'm trying but I fail you know God when I'm pressing but I can't see to get it right you know you know you know I'm a Monday ocean coming to you I'm bringing these things to you tonight because I can't take them into my year I can't take this struggle into my year I can't take this double minus into my year I can't take this enemy harassing me anymore I can't take my past up sneaking up on me anymore I've got to be free from the inside out I don't want to shout free but would it be struggling I don't want to dance like I'm free but have chains on me you're the chain breaker you're the chain breaker so break my Change tonight. Break the chains tonight. Somebody cry. Oh. Somebody cry. Oh. Somebody cry. Oh. Break these chains tonight. Give me your shot. Give me your shot. Give me your shot. Give me your shot. God, I struggle with unforgiveness I struggle I want to forgive but it's hard I want to forgive him but it's hard I want to let it go I want to get over it I want to move past it but every time I feel like I move past it here it comes again in bondage enslaving me I don't want to walk in anger I don't want to be mad no more I'm tired of being upset I'm tired of being disappointed I'm tired of God of the emotional games that the devil's playing with me free me tonight free my mind from these 
chains free my soul from this bondage and I promise God when you free me I'm going to praise you like I've never praised you before I promise you God when you free me tonight I'm going to run the range and never get tired when you free me tonight I'm going to go all the way with you somebody lift those hands if you need him and say free me tonight free me tonight from my secrets free me from the stuff I have to deal with free me from the things that only you and I know about only you and I know only you and I know God only you and I know only you and I know I'm good at covering it up I'm good and putting on my public face. I'm good on putting on my face for my wife, putting on my face for my husband, putting on my face for my children, putting on my face for the church. I'm good at acting like I'm all right. I'm good at pretending like things are okay when I'm struggling on the inside. But you called me here tonight at this midnight hour. You drew me here and I know you had a purpose for drawing me here. And now that I'm here, I'm asking you, reach down and get the root of this thing. I want the root out tonight. I want the root of bitterness out of me tonight. I want to forgive like you forgive I want to let go but every time I see them every time I hear their name every time I remember what happened can't seem to let it go but tonight I'm crying help me let it go help me to let it go so I can be that preacher that you really called me to be. So I can be that woman of God that you really called me to be. Don't nobody know. Don't nobody know about my sexual addiction. Don't nobody know. I can't tell them. I can't tell them about the pornography. I can't tell nobody that I, I can't stay away from my computer. I can't stay off my phone. Don't nobody know I got these images burning in my brain. I should have never went there. I should have never looked. I should have never responded. But now I'm struggling with images in my brain. I'm worshiping, but I'm struggling. I'm preaching, but I'm struggling. I'm praying, but I'm struggling. Don't nobody even know. Don't nobody even know how angry I am. Cause I smile, God, I smile so good. I smile so good. They don't know how deep I'm hurting. Even sometimes I feel angry with you. Sometimes I'm angry with you, but I don't know how to express it. I don't know how to tell you I'm disappointed. I feel like you let me down. There were times I felt I want you to come through. You didn't come through the way I wanted you to. I'm trying to deal with this, God. I'm trying to deal with feeling some kind of way. I'm trying to deal with how I feel. Tonight is my night. I'm not leaving here with this. I'm not leaving here with this. I refuse to go home. I'm going to do like Jacob did. I'm going to wrestle with you until you change my name. I'm going to wrestle here until this becomes my Bethel my place of transformation and my place of change I won't leave here tonight without my breakthrough I won't do it not one more day I know you're able not one more day I know you can do it you've done it for others you can do it for me and so tonight God in this next praise I'm going to give you everything I mean I know I said it before I know I said yes, Lord, before, but I've never meant it like I do tonight. I know, I know, I know I made promises before, but tonight there's something different. Tonight I'm casting all my cares on you.
I'm giving you these burdens. I'm giving you this anger. I'm giving you this unforgiveness. I'm giving you this struggle. I'm giving everything to you. And when I give you this praise, I want you to take it away. Give me, like you said in your word, beauty for my ashes. <laughs> give me, like you said in your word, the oil of joy for my sadness. See, come on, no, 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 Give me the garment of praise for my spirit of heaviness. I'm going to take off everything not like you. And tonight I'm training in. I'm training in my sorrows. I'm training in this pain. I'm carrying it long enough. I'm training in this private and secret struggle. And I'm taking on strength tonight. Believers, when I give you this signal, I don't know who that prayer was for. You don't have to come up here. You ain't got to raise your hand. You ain't got to say it was you. But tonight, if the Holy Ghost picked up your prayer, this is your time to praise him. Because I guarantee you, if I be a man of God, tonight he is shifting you from the place you were to where he's called you to be. And when I give you the signal, I want you to praise God with everything that you have. You're going to do it on three, on the count of three. You're going to open up your mouth in your own way. You're going to start praising God because tonight he's lifting you. I heard the Holy Ghost say, tell them there's a lifting tonight. One in the Holy Ghost. Because I believe God. Because I trust Him. Because I know He ain't no liar. Because there's a witness in my spirit too. Because tonight I'm going to drop this unforgiveness. I'm going to drop this anger. I'm dropping everything that's been hindering me. And when I start praising God, I'm going to praise my way out of it. I'm going to praise my way into a brand new day. Three. Don't hide behind the music. Don't hide behind the music. Come on, don't hide behind the music. That's right, that's right. Come on, come on. That's right. Stay right there. Stay right there, baby. Stay right there. Stay right there. I promise you. Stay right there. Don't stop. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Come on, push it out. Push it out. Open up. Open. Open up. A little louder. A little louder. Come on, press. 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 Come on, press. Press. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, y'all. Come on. Press, press, press. Come on, it's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. Come on, it's breaking. It's breaking. Come on, come press, press. It's breaking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's breaking. It's breaking. Come on, press, press, press. Press, press, a few more seconds. A few more seconds, a few more seconds. Come on, a few more seconds. We are almost there. Somebody cry out. Come on, cry out, baby. That's right. Come on. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about the person around you. Come on. It's you and God. It's you and God now. Come on. It's you and God now. Nobody else. Just you and him. Just you and him. Come on. Press. 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 For the next 60 seconds, there are no ushers, there are no greeters, there are no armor bearers. For the next 60 seconds, there are no workers, there are no, no. For the next, everybody in here, go for yourself for 60 seconds. Go. No musicians, there are nothing. You go, you and God, come on, press. Come on, Pastor Freeman, press, press. Come on, son, press, press. Forget about how you sound. Forget about who's around you. 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. Come on, 30 more seconds. Come on, musicians. Y'all got 30 seconds. Get y'all's in. 
He sandele be kandolo lo bosha. He ama ma 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 ni ama ma ma ndolo lo bosha. He kanalo ma ma ni o salo ma ma bosha. Come on, come on. He's breaking. The water's breaking. The water's breaking. The water's breaking. When Zion travails, she brings forth. When Zion travails, she brings forth. When Zion travails, she brings forth. A few more seconds, a few more seconds. I decree and I declare in Jesus' name. You are not going to pour water and not drink. In 2018, you are not going to sweat. You are not going to labor without enjoying the fruit of your labor. This is a year for you musicians who play and sing and worship. Every worship leader, every worship leader, every worship leader, come here right now. Every person who leads worship anywhere, come quickly, come quickly. If you're on the worship team, if you're a worship leader, stand up where you are. Quick, quick, babies, move fast. He said, come right here, come right here, come right here. You're about to drink. 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 You've given out drink. You poured out of your spirit. You poured out of your soul. There come my mother ocean. But tonight, I decree that the fountain of the Holy Ghost is open. And tonight, you're going to drink. You're going to drink from the fountain that you bring others to. You're going to drink from the fountain that you lead others to. You're going to drink from the fountain that you labor over on Saturday night. That you labor over in rehearsals. That you labor over in song selections. You're about to drink. This is your year, not just to pour, but it's your year to drink. Somebody shout in here. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 soak it up, 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 drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink, 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 baby, drink, 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 the devil is a liar. Look at me. It hurts. It hurts today the same as it did when it first happened. You are pressing through your pain every single day to be okay. God brought you here tonight, not just because your mother was ministering, not just to be an armor bearer and an assistant, but God brought you here tonight to get that off your chest. You are about to let it go because you're pressing past it. It's building character. Yeah, but it hurts. It's building stamina. Yeah, but it's painful stamina. It's making you a worshiper like you never was before. But it's worship in response to pain. And the Holy Ghost said, I'm getting ready to switch that. It's going to be worship because of joy. I need about five of y'all who know God is real to start praising him right now for this girl. He's changing your garments tonight. Come on, drink, 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 drink. Come on, worshipers, drink. Shandala. Come on, mama. Put your hand right in her belly. 
put it right in the belly. Now I want the whole church for the next 30 seconds to clap your hands like it's going out of style. Open your mouth and give God a praise in here, everybody. Drink. Drink while you can. Drink while you can. It's a long road. It's a long road. Shut up, no, 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 You just start the journey. You're just starting the journey. It's a long road, but it's filled with good things. You travel the rough part of this road. Mm-hmm. But I got, I got a long ways I'm taking you. I'm taking you a long ways. I got more for you in the spirit. And the mantles, the mantles I talk to you about. I let you witness. I let you see close up. I let certain stories get in your ear. They were so real, you felt like you was there. But this road is turning it looked like it was the end but when you get to the curve you're going to see it's a long road it's a journey it ain't a trip ain't no running to run out where I'm taking you you've only begun Drink while you can, because it's a journey. Soak it up while you can. I'm going to give you strength beyond the norm. And there's a treasure. In 2018, you'll come upon it. And the cry for freedom from systems that limit you. Thank you, Jesus. I got a treasure. Lift your hands, worship the Lord. say something to you. One of the secrets when you start to move into a vein with God. When you're traveling 
You see, a day with him is like a thousand years. And a thousand years is like a day. There's no time with God. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you tonight? So being here for an hour, two hours, with God is like a lifetime. Okay, somebody. You know what? If y'all don't, don't come up a little higher, I'm going to have to stop. No, for real. Are you hearing me, sister? That's why he says, I can give you back the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, and the locust have eaten up. I can give you back the years because he's able to redeem time. Are you hearing me, sister? Which means any... I'm getting ready. Listen. First lady, I'm going to think. Any relationship that you've ever been involved in, that you shouldn't have been involved in, and you wasted time in that relationship, you can praise God right now and get that time back right now. I'm not playing. Y'all, I'm not playing. Somebody not playing tonight. Somebody came here for, for the real tonight. I will give you back the years that that person ate up. I will give you back the years of that bad decision. 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 He cannot love a shandal of a heart. Someone, wait, wait, wait. Someone here tonight that's ready to claim what I just said. I want you to open up your mouth and shout, I came to get my years back. Come on, one more time. I came to get my years back. So every time I spend a moment in God's presence, every time I spend a minute in God's presence, something is being added to me. We ain't just here to be here. God is adding stuff to us. Every time you praise him, he's adding something to your life. Okay, be seated. I don't want you to get, I'm not trying to excite you. Give me my glasses. Way more, way more than I want to excite you, I want to empower you. I, you know, because that's good. Good news is, is exciting, but I don't want you to get so excited you miss the revelation of what God is saying to you, daughter. That one moment in God's presence. This is why Satan works so hard to keep us outside the presence of the Lord, not church. He don't care if we go to church. Just don't get in the presence. He don't care. I've been preaching 35 years. I'm a boy preacher. He don't care about me preaching. As long as I don't know how to lead people to the presence. As long as I deal with the superficial things, the emotional part of it, the intellectual part of it, as long as I can preach a good sermon and get everybody slapping high fives and all that man really preached, as long as I can tantalize your emotions, speak to your intellect, but not touch your spirit, He'll let me have church all day. But the moment, it's time to get in God's presence. The first church we went to, Wednesday night, we got there and the, the whole water main broke. The pastor said, before y'all got here, he said, the water main just broke. We got water everywhere. Now somebody would say, man, but you know, I, I choose to see things differently. So I told the pastor, I said, that's good. 
Because that is symbolic. So let that water run. We're going to have church. We're going to have this prayer. Let the water run. And while we was having her, the water was running, coming in the church. Let it come in here. So I turned to the water and prophesied that everybody in here has been in a drop place in your life. The water just broke. You got to take situations and turn that stuff in your favor. Stop letting the devil depress you over dumb stuff. And understand just one moment in God's presence, I'll wipe this junk out. If I can press my way in, what is a water main? Went to the church last night. Pastor, I'm sorry, our lights went out. He said, the whole, the whole, all the light. I said, it's okay. Jesus is the light of the world. We're going to have prayer. And we're going to pray. And, we, and while we're praying, the lights came back on. Because you don't, you don't let stuff stop you. See, I'm not talking to everybody. It's only a few of us here, but I, 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 even with a small crowd, I ain't talking to everybody. But I'm talking to somebody. And whoever I'm talking to, that thing is hitting you in your spirit. And you get ready to experience the greatest time. Because tonight, God is giving you back the years that you wasted. Fooling around the folks. You should have fooled around. He's giving you back the years. How does God do that? That's why. Here's one of the dynamics we miss in church. All the time. We miss it all the time. We miss it all the time. So God has to slow us down, Pastor Freeman, and put us in a shut-in because we don't have time. <laughs> Where the honest people at? We don't have time. Not to really seek the Lord. We always on a schedule. From the time we get up in the morning to tell you now, we got something to do. Most of us in here Ain't sitting around twiddling our thumbs. We wish we could. And most of us in here that's really involved, and in whatever we're involved in, we only know how to vacation. We find ourselves on vacation still handling stuff. I, 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 listen, the best vacation is a cruise. If you really want to do it, go on a cruise and go far. When I really want, my wife and I, we want to get up, we just go, we just go far. We go on a cruise, we just go far. So our phones stop working. Because you're always in something. And God has to say, you know what? Mighty 700. What's that? 700 prayer warriors being raised up across America and around the world to pray. Okay, how's, how does it look? It looks like seven hours of prayer on Fridays, three hours of prayer for, 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 for the, for, for the mini series. Go ahead, put it out there. And then he'll call us here tonight as a family, a jurisdiction, churches, ministers, pastors. And say, okay, and those who are here, I was up last night, couldn't even go to bed. And, and, and I was, we had left a prayer in Detroit, and I got home, and the spirit of prayer hit me, and I prayed almost all night. When I woke up, I was under the dining room table, chairs everywhere. I'm like, hot, now what's this? But my soul was crying out, and I, start, and, I, and I said, God, call them by their name. Whoever you want in that building tomorrow, don't, don't let that folk just come. Call them by their name. Earmark the ones you want because you can't prophesy certain things in certain settings. Y'all quiet in here. You have to wait until all the dynamics are in place. Otherwise, you have people reaching for hope, not even talking to them. You can't say, everybody here coming out. You don't even know everybody there. There are certain settings that God have to earmark who is to be there. Put you in the right place at the right time and then release a mass word over your life. And it means something different to all 50 of us. It means something different to all 25 of us. And that's why God has brought us to the burning bush tonight. And we may turn aside. And that's what the burning bush is. It's that thing that catch your attention and make you stop a while and sit there and talk to God. And at the burning bush, he tells you, who he is he tells you who you are and then he sends you forth on your mission we are at the burning bush tonight because God wants to talk to us about our next assignment go with it brother go with it and see in these kind of services they ain't out of order we got to have some place that we can go and just say. Yeah. 
Well, we're not looking at our clocks. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, we're not going to be here to six. I know what these flyers say, but it's, it's unscripted. When we get our breakthrough, we go home. We set that time because, and we, and we have a schedule. We have, we have everything, if you look, we, it's, very, it's very organized. But it's subject to change by necessity of what the needs and the building are. And when you came here tonight, what we needed was that. And I'm telling you right now, maybe not everybody, but some of us got flushed tonight. I felt the flush. There were some things that was ran out of our system forever. There were some things that would never harass us, never bother us, never hold us. I wish I had a church in here. There are some things the enemy has lost his grip. I said the devil has lost his grip. I said the enemy has lost his grip. Here's what I need you to do. There's a couple of things that, that have to be in place if you're going to walk in victory. See, it don't take God all, long to, all night to answer us. It takes us all night to get ready to talk to him. The 10 days they spent in the upper room wasn't them waiting on God. If you study scripture closely, you will find out it was by the 10th day that they stopped meeting, stopped voting, Stop arguing about who is going to be the next disciple, which wasn't their business in the first place. It wasn't like God would just have them waiting there. They were going through changes, but on the 10th day, somebody said, you know what, this is enough. We, we're not even up here to discuss this. We're up here for the promise. And what God has sent me to the burning bush to say to you tonight is you are one moment away from the promise. That thing that God has swore he will pour out on you tonight, you are steps away from the promise. If when we get with one accord, God moved immediately. The Bible say, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven. It means the moment you make up in your mind, I didn't come here to sit in the church tonight and take a nap. I came for deliverance, and I'm not going to leave here until I get it. And when we all hit that moment at the same time, there's going to be a suddenly in this building tonight. It's going to switch us and change us somebody shall forever so watch this watch how crazy this is mother watch you and I have a different understanding than a lot of people because we were raised in church and we came on the tail end a real power. So it's difficult for us to adjust to weak church. I was born in the fire. I can't live in the smoke. The church is so foggy. Fog is an acronym for form of godliness. Fog. It's foggy. It looked like Mm, but it ain't quite. Because Dr. Young, Young Shelby, Brother Dunn Shelby III, we came up in a time where when they said power, they meant power. See, y'all looking at me funny. I'm talking about devils coming out for real. No, no, I'm talking about oh, get out. I'm talking about devils. Okay, y'all looking at me real funny. It's okay. No, I'm talking about all that bucking and shaking. We, they, they knew that wasn't the power of God. You get, oh, ah, no, 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 no. They knew it. Come here. As soon as somebody fall, y'all like pow. That's it. I'm so okay. Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to insult, insult y'all, but don't y'all know that all these little evangelists is doing is making people fall. And people fall, they walk away like they, I mean, it's so spectacular. Shandala, come out, bam, they walk away. Why are you walking away? The, the devil failed, but he didn't come out. I'm from the school, they got down there with you. Okay, y'all look at me fun. They had time to get down that flow with you. And it called 
and had you to call Jesus until you wasn't just down there, but the enemy. And see, I got delivered for real. I know what it feels like to have a demon gripping on you. I know what it feels like to have a devil trying to hold your mind. And somebody with some power is praying over you. And you can feel the grip of that devil get off of you. I'm talking about looking in the mirror and seeing I'm a shade lighter. I have a real power where you understood when I left that altar, when I left that church, I was changed. I'm talking about, I'm talking about shouting, because I did it, and they knew you wasn't shouting for real. They shouted next to you, while you was, they came right up there, and shouted you right down like this, and said, now baby, we don't shout with our hips, we shout with our feet. See, it's, I, got, I got some witness in here, but see, I'm talking about a day. No, no, no. They were like, come on, come on. That's stammering lips. That's not speaking in tongues. I don't care how fast you start to run your tongue. I don't care about all that. You, you need to get the real Holy Ghost. Okay, y'all looking at me. Brother Trenton. I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking about the book of Judges, chapter 2, verse 10 says, And there arose a generation that knew not the Lord, nor the works he had done in Israel. And when our young people don't get to experience, see, we didn't, we didn't take pillows to shut ins. What, for what? For what? A pillow. And them preachers preached all night. And the mothers had an anointing with the tamarines to get in your ear. Smell like Bengay mothballs. Y'all ain't looking at it. You know what? Y'all y'all can laugh if y'all want to, but I, I I would give any I would give anything to hug somebody that's like a mothball today. Because they would sit somewhere and catch you up in the spirit. Travail before they get to the church. So when they, when they hugged you, it was power in the embrace. So it's hard for me. To go through these changes with the church today. Where people are judging you while you preach. Like they taste in wine. They act like they're connoisseurs of preachers. Mm -hmm. like, we on, like we on Church Got Talent. They sitting there giving numbers. I give them a nine. See, I would have took that script another way. I would have said da, da 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 We have our favorite preachers. We have our celebrities. We caught up in flesh. If we don't know somebody, we sit on them. Who is this? Uh, I think he a uh, prophet something. Prophet, 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 prophet. Child, where's so-and-so? They coming tomorrow. I should have came tomorrow. You know what? I ain't studying y'all because I ain't scared of y'all. I ain't scared of nobody. It's sad. But God, in the next 60 seconds, for somebody, is going to give the church back the years that we've been wasting. And there is coming a power, elder, there's coming a power, mother, there's coming a power, Pastor Intel, there's coming a power. So when you're in services like this, the key is to always stay engaged. Our attention span is horrible. Jesus taught for three days and the people didn't even eat. Only boy had a lunch was that little kid. With two fish and five loaves of bread. He was the only one smart enough to say, no, Jesus is going to be a while. I'm bringing me a lunch. I heard about Jesus. Everybody else just started walking and followed Jesus all, all the way out of town. They had left the town. Went into what the Bible said was a desert place. They looked up and said, where, where, where are we? That's what God will do. He will take you 
by the word to unfamiliar places. And the reason why God wants to take you to unfamiliar places is because you can't get your breakthrough around certain people. You can't get your breakthrough in certain services. You can't get your breakthrough. Sometimes you have to pull you out of what's comfortable and give you something called a miracle. And the Bible says, when he says, sit them down on the grass. They said, Jesus, it's a desert place. There is no grass. But by the time the people sat down, the grass came up. And what I'm trying to prophesy in this house tonight is when you begin to obey God, by the time you move toward what God tells you to do, the miracle you've been waiting on is going to be in your hand. And that's why in these kinds of services, you have to obey. You don't get to sit there and do what you want to do. You have to obey. So when a man says, clap your hands, you have to clap. When they say, say praise the Lord, you have to say praise the Lord. When the praise team is up before you, they're not up before you to entertain you. They are there to lead you to a place that's going to give you everything that you need. And that's why, while they're singing, you have to sing. When they jump, you have to jump. We have to do things together. Because when we move as one, the enemy cannot tell which one of us slapped him upside his head. I need some people here right now to help me take 30 seconds and praise God. And while you pray to God for me, I pray to God for you and everybody here it's gonna get their break through come on come on lazy bones come on come on come on a few more seconds a few more seconds as you're shouting to God, He's responding to your situation. Please sit down one more time. That's right, push. That's right. That's what I want to hear. You have to praise Him. You have to praise him until it goes into automatic. The person who goes to church and gets caught up in the spirit and still say, we look at them like they're crazy. Like, excuse me, it's over. We have no idea what that person is holding on to. And there's a time and a place for everything. Which is why God has put this time and this place together. You can praise him tonight for the next few seconds and nobody gets to look at you like you ought to stop. So everything that you've been holding in and everything you need to let out, this is the setting where you let it out. Because tonight, the years that God ate up are being given back. How does God do that? How does he do that, Sister Courtney? How does God give us back years, Brother Ryan? We get real foolish like Nicodemus and we ask silly questions. So he, am I going back to when I was 13? Because that's when I messed up. Am I going back to when I was 27? Because that's when I got into that bad relationship. So what do you mean? What God does, sister, is gives you the progress that you would have had had you never got off course. So if five steps, one, two, three, four, five, if five steps will get you here, but you got caught up at two with a whole bunch of nothing, and you look at your life and now you're older and you're steps away from where you should be. No, he don't change your age. But in one moment, he moves you from two to five. 
And when you start doing stuff, what would take you years to do, you find yourself producing things quicker at a faster rate. I'm talking to somebody right now who God been told you to write a book and you've been, <laughs> you've been laboring over that book and you've been procrastinating. But God said tonight, I'm going to give you an anointing to write that book in 30 days. What would have took you three years? I'm releasing an anointing to catch up. This is catch up night. If you're behind in any vision, if you're behind in any call, if you're behind in your obedience tonight, it's catch up night. And all you have to do is open up your spirit and praise him like you caught up. Come on, enter in, enter in. Come on, enter in, enter in, enter in. Come on, Zion. Step into it, step into it, step into it. Step into it, step into it, step into it. Step into it. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. So a lot of times people sit around. We do, we do, we do these things, precious. And people start asking questions like, why we got to... Why we gotta stand up? Why? Why we gotta holler? Why? Why we gotta shout? God's not deaf. He can hear us. Or, or, why does it seem so aggressive? It seems so aggressive sometimes. The prophetic is very aggressive. Elijah told the king, he says, get your, get your sword out and I want you to smite the ground how many times you want the victory. He smote the ground two times, bam, bam. And, and, and the prophet got angry. He said, what are you doing? You should have smote it five or more. Because as many times you hit the ground, that's how many victories God was going to give you over your enemy. So why would you pat a cake tonight? You in the presence of the prophet. Why would you just... When God is saying, the more you praise me, I'm giving you years back. Some of y'all lost too many years to be sitting like, you should be. Because tonight, the prophetic have walked up in your house and declared to you that tonight is catch up night. How much catch up do you need to do? That's right, that's right. Come on, feel more. Hit that ground. Hit that ground. Hit that ground. Hit that ground. Get the victory. Sit down again. Sit down again. Sit down again. But don't just move. Just rock. Do something. I mean, don't, don't, don't disengage. Sit down don't mean disengaging. Just keep staying engaged. Because this is what you call simmer. Let it simmer. Because the hype wears off. Let that thing go down. Get my years back. Making progress this year. God turned that thing around to me. So glad I came here. Glad I didn't miss tonight. Because my victory is all around me. I done smote the ground enough times to totally consume my enemy. I done smoked this ground enough times. I'm running this time. Child, I ain't looking back. I don't care who don't go. 
They ain't got to call me, chat me, snap me, hit me up, nothing. I'm, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm ready. This is my time. God, I've been waiting for this. This is what I prayed for. This is what I was crying about. Let that thing simmer. Because every time you shout, you send shockwaves through the enemy's camp. When you go home, babies, read 1 Samuel 4 and 8. Read the whole chapter, but just focus on 4 and 8. The Bible says that the Philistines had defeated Israel in a battle. And they came back in the camp and said, man, why, how did this happen? How can I be with God and lose? And the Bible says the elders said, the Ark of the Covenant is not here. We done lost the presence. The Ark of the Covenant is in Shiloh. We can't do nothing without God's presence. And that's why the enemy wants you to leave God at home. But the old folks said, take the Lord along with you. Everywhere you go. Y'all not talking back to the preacher. There's some things I would have done if I had taken God with me. Amen. Y'all quiet now. There's some decisions I would have made if I had taken God with me. The Bible said, they said, let's go to Shalom. Let's go get the Ark of the Covenant. Long story short, the Bible said, when the people saw the priests and the elders bearing the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders, they began to shout with a shout so loud the earth rang. And the enemy said, woe be unto us if God is in that camp. He said, what meaneth this shout that comes out of burning bush? Because I'm going to tell you right now, sisters and brothers, the devil knows the difference in your praise. He can identify the get me out praise. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You're trying to get out. You ain't out. See, you know what? Y'all Y'all let these folk fool you on the church. Thank you. See, she's struggling. She's struggling. Why are you getting happy? That girl tortured. Thank you. Thank you. She tortured. Look at y'all. Y'all look at me like y'all. We got a church full of people torture. These folks ain't free. Uh -uh, get her. Get her, baby. Devil in her. And y'all act like because you brought your cousin to church and she got touched because the service was high and she got emotional. She started crying. Thank you! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Taping demons, recording demons. I ain't saying y'all get mad in here. Just all excited because she up there. She just dancing, looking all wild. That's the club sitting at her. All this. What that we gonna shout over that? We that ain't no deliverance. Why y'all looking at me like that? The devil know the he know the saint sound because some of y'all saints ain't delivered. Your song, come on. Your grace and mercy. Thank you. No, no, no. Them your emotions. We've been singing for 20 minutes. <sighs> I can't get them out of here. That praise has been up there for a half an hour. And you now you feel something? Come on now. Now you use them, Jesus. He's been using them. You just full of sorrow and shame. <laughs> Y'all so quiet. Y'all laughing, but the devil know. And, and the devil came to church with y'all. Sit in the car and said, go, go ahead, hurry up. I won't be out here all day. And all while you was in church, he tell you, come outside. Hurry up. All that shouting. He get in the car. He said, give it here. I want all that joy. Give me that joy. One phone call. One text message. One post on Facebook. One somebody saying something. All that. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm sitting, see, that's what I'm saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. You the same lady that was took up around the whole church? Now you outside fighting? Okay. I done ran my little time out. They looking at me like. We act like Elder Clifton. The devil don't know our praise ain't nothing. And then the preacher tell us stuff like this. If you praise him, he'll get you out. <laughs> then we go hard there. Cause we in some stuff. When praises go up, blessings come down. 
How high they gotta go? How high they gotta go? We praise out of emotion. And we think we tricking God. We're gonna praise him. I ain't gonna serve him. Okay, y'all look, okay, sorry. I don't know what to do for you. I'll tell you the truth. So the the Philistine said, that's different. That sound is different. They said, what meaning of this sound that comes, you know, I don't, I don't want folks to, I, I, uh, baby, I don't want to, I don't want to get, get that scripture. I don't want to just be quoting stuff. People, you know, wanted to see that, that one scripture. And then what time is it? What time it is? Sucker. Who? Okay, yeah, that's good. About four, four hours and fifteen minutes. Bless your heart. First Samuel four and eight. Cause I, cause I, I, I. Actually, um, verse six. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, "What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews?" And they understood that the ark of the Lord was come into the camp. The enemy understood you got yourself back together. Some of y'all walked in here tonight and the enemy thought you was going to walk out with him. He thought it would be the same old service, the same old time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, you've been to the altar. I don't, I don't know how many times. But tonight is different. Because they said this sound sounds different. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God is coming to the camp. And they said, woe be unto us, for there hath not been such a thing hitherto. So that means tonight, we can enter the realm of it never happened before. Okay. Now, if I lost you, good night. Heaven smile upon you. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one for another. What I said to one, I said to all. Watch, pray, live holy every day. But if, but if, I, but if you still connected, did you hear that? So I could be at the altar a hundred times. But tonight, not me, the devil said it. N not me, my enemy said, this ain't never happened before. Somebody getting that. So what I'm telling you is that when you shout and praise God and you free, it sounds different to him than that last time you were shouting trying to get free. So tonight the Lord has promised you something. He ain't no liar. He said every time you praise me, I'm giving you years back. So your sound just switched. Wait a minute. I'm not praising God to get out. I'm praising God because I am out. And when you're that's why the Bible says shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Triumph means I already won. I'm overcoming victory. My child changes. I'm not crying to God to help me. I'm already helped. And I want the people in here who know God has helped you tonight. Raise your voice and give that devil a headache. Because tonight your shout just changed. Understand, he does not create, he discovers what God has already created. So, a man in his limited ability can discover a way to take a signal from Burning Bush Westland, transmit that signal through satellite to remote parts of Africa. And tonight, people can jump on a streaming and watch and see and hear us all the way across the world 
that's man. Somebody say that's man. If man is that capable, then you can't tell me that God, who created man and created the thing that man discovered, can't take my shout and send my shout into the devil's camp. And whether you came from Detroit, Pontiac, Saginaw, Flint, Ferndale, Southfield, I don't care where you came from, you can praise God tonight and your shout can leave here tonight and transfer and travel in the spirit and shake every devil you left at home and by the time you get home and pull up in your car every demon that's been around your house is already packed his bag and put I said shout What's that beeping? What's that beeping? What's that beeping? That's the sound of the U-Haul truck backing up to your, that's the sound of the devil's moving truck. He gotta go every time you shout, he's backing up and packing his stuff. And by the time you get home, the people you left in your house are gonna be shaken by the power of the Holy Ghost in your mouth. Somebody shout it here. We cast down every stronghold. We cast down every vain imagination. We upset and cancel every evil plot and scheme of our enemy tonight. We send confusion in the enemy's camp. We send confusion in the enemy's plans. We send confusion. And tonight, the walls of Jericho are falling down. Tonight, the walls of our enemies are falling down huh? somebody shot yes never the same I won't walk the same never the same I won't live the same I claim my family I claim my neighborhood I claim my community I claim my city we speak and declare that Westland is under siege Westland is under siege by the Holy Ghost not just Westland but Ypsilanti not yet Ypsilanti but Jackson and the surrounding areas we take authority over this atmosphere we claim this territory in the name of Jesus this territory shall become the territory of the kingdom of God Westland shall become the kingdom of God Ypsilanti shall become the kingdom of God Pontiac shall become the kingdom of God Port Huron shall become the kingdom of God Monroe shall become the kingdom of God Kalamazoo shall become the kingdom of God Grand Rapids shall become the kingdom of God Detroit shall become the kingdom of God Flint shall become the kingdom of God Saginaw shall become the kingdom of God Somebody shall miss again.
And the back of every enemy has been broken. The back of our enemy has been torn asunder. Every yoke has been destroyed. Every burden has been lifted. And tonight we decree and declare in 2018 on January the 13th out of a at Burning Bush International Ministries change transformation has taken place and the Holy Ghost is at work shut it and father right now in the name of jesus we call sons and daughters we call sinners to repentance we decree that this year shall be harvest we will see the harvest of souls we will see men and women delivered by your power we decree and declare that 2018 is the year for my family it's a year for my household it's a year for my community we will see salvation and healing and deliverance somebody shout in Jesus name for victory come on and clap your hands 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 for victory open up your mouth because your God has released victory hallelujah 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 Come on, you've been praying for it. But God says it's here now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. your warfare has been accomplished your warfare has been accomplished your warfare has been accomplished
Come on, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Say, praise him like it's already done. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. L lift your hands in the air. Come on, lift him up. Just hold the music. Lift him up in the air. Now just go into your prayer closets all over this room. Just enter into your closets, enter into your prayer closets and begin to pray. Just pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Your spirit knows exactly what to pray for right now. Let your spirit man pray. There it is. Let your spirit man pray. Your spirit is making an intercession for you. You don't have the words to pray for what's down in your belly. Your spirit is praying. Ah, shaking. Pray in the spirit. That's it. Let your spirit intercede. There's some stuff going on in your houses, in your ministry, in your churches, some stuff about the future, your spirit is interceding right now. Even into next week and next month, all of March and April and May and June, July, August, September and October and November, the spirit is praying into the months ahead. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. There it is, in the spirit. Pray. Pray in the spirit. Stuff is being canceled in the realm of the spirit. Eyes have not seen. That's why you can't pray in the flesh. Ears have not heard. That's why you can't say it in the natural. Neither have it entered into the hearts of men. The good things. And the enemy wants to rob you of those good things. But the enemy cannot rob you of what he doesn't know. Pray in the spirit. God's given you a mystery language that even the enemy cannot interpret. Come on, use the weapon. It is one of your weapons of prayer. It is a weapon for deliverance. That's it, pray in the speak. Shake Oh, ko. Shot. He kabamaneke. Pray in the spirit. It's going into cities. It's going into Atlanta. It's going into Mississippi. Come on, it's going into New York. It's paving ways and opening up doors into regions that have been locked. It's cutting off the heads of the serpents. The spirit of Leviton is being broken. Marine demons are being broken. There it is. Come on, pray in the spirit. Come on, pray in the spirit. Pray, 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 pray. There's a corporate anointing in this house. And you might say, well, Bishop, I, I, I've never prayed in the spirit before. There's a corporate anointing in this house that when you step in a corporate anointing, even Saul, 
who did not know nothing about prophesying, but when he got in the community and company of prophets, he prophesied. Out of your belly, not out of your emotions, out of your belly, not out of your thoughts, out of your belly. Your flesh has nothing to do with what's coming out of your mouth right now. You're not praying what I'm saying. You're praying what the Spirit says now. Pray from out of your belly. From out of your belly. Pray, pray. Come on, pray. Pray just a few more minutes. Pray. Just a few more minutes. Pray. There's a strategy to what God is doing tonight. There's a strategy to what God is doing tonight. Pray. From out of your belly. That's it, Jeremy. That's it, Jeremy. That's it, Jeremy. That's it, Jeremy. You've been here before. But God's going to do something new. God's going to do something new in an old place for you. God's going to show you something different in the place that you've been. Come on, pray in the spirit. Come on, pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray. Just a few more minutes. We're just about done here. Pray. Come on, come on, pray in the spirit. Come on, activate it. Turn it on. Turn it on. Come on, activate it. It's one of your weapons for the weapons of our warfare. Not weapon one, but weapons. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You got more than one weapon. I know you can pray in word, but pray in spirit. It is a weapon of your warfare to pull down strongholds tonight. Now come on, they're coming down. Strongholds of cancer, strongholds of death, strongholds of debt, strongholds of insecurity, strongholds of fear, strongholds of doubt, strongholds of perversions and homosexualities. They're coming down. They're coming down. They're coming down. Sicknesses and diseases. Generational curses. Generational sicknesses. Bloodline diseases and bloodline curses. They're coming down. They're coming down. They're coming down. They're coming down. Coming down. Now come on, that's it, amen. Now stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. I know the Bible says, Ask and it shall be given, knock and the door shall be opened. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, I'm calling now in this moment for the spirit of the seeker. Because there's been some things that have been lost that tonight through seeking you're going to find. I'm releasing the spirit of the seeker amongst you tonight. Because you're going to find not only things that have been lost, but you're going to discover some things that have been hid. I'm going to unearth some things in the realm of the spirit tonight for you. Some things that have been buried. Treasures. But I'm going to release it to the spirit of the seeker. A seeker cannot be still. A seeker must have momentum. They must move. They must be persistent. They must not give up. A seeker cannot grow weary in well-doing. A seeker cannot be time conscious. A seeker has to be purpose driven. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, what are you seeking tonight? What are you seeking tonight? 
What are you seeking tonight? What is the fuel to your faith? What is it that has driven you here tonight? What's the purpose behind your passion? What's the hope behind your cry? What is it that you're really after tonight? Not, not, not the surface, but let's get beneath the surface for a moment. And what is it that you're really after tonight? Is it me or is it them? Lift your hands in the air. And I want you to begin to seek him. As if nobody else is in this room but you. We, 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 we walked in the corporate, in the group. But now it's the liberal soul that's going to be made fat. It's, it's, it's those who hunger and thirst that's going to be filled. It's the ones who desire the words of his mouth. More so than anything else. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As the deer panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after thee, O Lord. Now seek him. No, no music. Just seek him. Seek him. Run after him. Run after him. Run after him the same way that you ran after the Holy Ghost when you wanted to be filled. Run after him. The seeker, not the preacher. Because sometimes it's hard for preachers to be seekers. Because sometimes their positions and their titles and their work get in their way. Not, not the musician, but the seeker now. Not the armor bearer. I don't need anybody walking and following me now. I need seekers following after God. Seekers. 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 Come on. You and God. You and God. You and God. You and God. Nobody else now. You and him. Let it be a room of one. Just you and him. Now go after him. Come on, go after him. Go after him. That's it. Go after him. For the kingdom suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. The seekers, come on, where are the violent people tonight? Those who will go after God violently with every ounce of strength, recklessly. Those who refuse to go home the same way they came. Those who would not accept anything less than what they came for tonight. Come on. Where are those seekers tonight? Come on. Come on. Go after them. Go after them. Go after them. Go after him. Go after him. If you can't go after him for yourself, go after him for somebody else. For a son. For a daughter. For a husband, for a wife. Come on. For a neighbor, for a parent, for a sibling. Go after him. Go after him. Come on, get indignant with the enemy. Do not let him take away your loved one. Do not let him do this to your family. Do not allow him to hurt another person. Go after it. Go after it. This is the last time. 
This is the last time. This is the last time. This is the last time. Jesus cast the devil out of the boy and say, come out of him and enter in him no more. This is the last time. This is the last time. This is the last time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The seekers, the seekers. Come on. Now come on, don't don't seek for nothing. You got to seek for something. Put an object, put a goal in front of you. The, everyone, the Bible says, everyone that seeketh findeth. Every one, not 50%, not 75%, but every one who seeketh, findeth. Every one. Now, what are you looking for? Now, if you're, just, if you're just praising and clapping and you're doing it aimlessly, then that's all you're going to get out of it. But what is your goal? What is it that you're after? What is the object of your affection tonight? What is, what is the purpose of your destination? Where is it that God is taking you or where is it that you want to go? Now put it before your eyes. Put it before your eyes and do not allow yourself to be denied. Do not be denied. Do not be denied. Do not be denied. Don't let your focus be broken. The only reason Peter sunk was because his focus was broken. He had broken focus as long as he kept his eyes on the object. He, he did the supernatural. He walked on water. But the moment his focus was broken, he began to sink. Don't sink now. Come on. What is your focus? What is your focus? What is your focus? Is your focus to turn back deaf? Turn it around. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Command it to stop. If Elijah could speak and shut up the heavens for three years and he was a man of like passion, then you can do supernatural things too with your words. Come on. Get your focus on. What is it that you're seeing? What is it that you're after? Don't just pray. Pray your desire. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put it, put it in front of you. Put it in front of you and do not be denied. Jacob refused to be denied. And he told the angel, I'm not going to let you go until you give me what I was looking for. You're not leaving. We'll stay here all night long if necessary. But I'm not going to let this go. Now, come on. Everyone that seeketh, findeth. Everyone that seeketh, findeth. Everyone that seeketh, findeth. Everyone that seeketh, findeth. Findeth every one that seeketh, findeth every one, every one, every one. He healed them all, every one that seeketh, findeth everyone, everyone, everyone. Sickle cell anemia can, cannot exist if you seek healing of it because everyone that seeketh, findeth. God cannot lie. 
What if some do not believe? Does it make the word of God of none effect? God forbid. Let God be true. Let every man be a liar because God cannot lie. Everyone that seeketh, findeth. Everyone. Everyone. Come on, let the word come alive. Let the word come alive. Everyone. 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 Get the object in front of you and go after it. Go after it. Go after it. Go after your husband. Go after him. Your wife. Go after her. Go after it. Your career. Go after it. Your anointing. Go after it. Go after it. Go after it. Go after it. In the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. No, amen. No, you didn't shout it. You just said it. Shout in the name of Jesus. You still didn't shout it. You said it. Shout in the name of Jesus. All right, amen. In the name of Jesus, everything that I prayed for, everything I believe God for is done. In the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says everyone that seeketh findeth everyone that seeketh findeth now amen I need you to praise God because you got what you was looking for I need you to shout because you got what you were looking for I need you to give God glory because you have the possession of what it was that you've been asking God for the devil don't have it you got it the devil had it I possess it now come on and give your God a praise No, you're not praising him like you found it. You're praising him like you're still looking for it. I want you to praise him like you found it because everyone that seeketh, findeth. You got to understand the word became flesh. That meant, amen, it materialized. That means it came from the supernatural to the natural. Come on, everyone that seeketh, findeth. I want you to praise God like you got it, like God did it, like it's already done, like it has happened right now. to go after it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want you to praise him like you're praying for healing. I want you to praise him like you're healed. I don't want you to praise him like you're praying for money. I want you to praise him like you already have it.
you have it, some of you still don't. See, you can tell the difference between a looker and a seeker. A looker, they don't have. They still looking. But the Bible says, Melanie, everyone that seeketh Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, say, I'm not a looker. I'm a seeker, and I got just what I wanted. Come on, give your God a praise offering right now if that's your testimony. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You might be seated. Put your hands together for Bishop Al Vernis Johnson. He's doing a wonderful job. Amen. How many, how many have enjoyed this this? service thus far let me see those hands how many have enjoyed it thus far amen what a great move of god amen i i i feel something happening in this place i feel something happening in this region i feel something happening in this community amen i feel something happening in my body i said i feel something happening in my body i feel something i feel something Amen. They, mm -mm.
Yes, Hallelujah. 
the Lord has done anything for you tonight I know that may seem like a silly statement if the Lord has if you recognize that you've found what you were seeking for I want you to praise God because the Bible says this wait the Bible says this that there was a woman who lost a precious coin Bible says she swept her house up and down, turned things upside down to try to find that precious coin. And, and when she did, she called her neighbors and her friends, and there was a great rejoicing in her house. Who, one of us having a sheep, would not go leave the 99 and find the lost sheep? Some things were lost. And some things were not uncovered. But tonight, everyone that seeketh, findeth. If you know you found your stuff, I want you to start praising God right now. Thank God. My brothers and my sisters, ladies and gentlemen, it is not often that we have this kind of opportunity in a busy world to turn aside and receive such impartation and such blessings. And I'm not just doing this because everybody who knows me knows my heart. And you can't spend your whole life trying to explain yourself to people who don't know you because you'll waste a lot of time I'm not just doing this because it's protocol. I'm doing it because it's in my heart. Not only is it not often that you find opportunities like this, it's not often that you find men of the stature of our leader who will turn aside from everything he has to do and the demands on his life, not just to do it, but to do it hardly. No, I'm not, no, I'm, hold on. I'm not talking about, yeah, okay. I'm talking about the excitement that he showed and the investment that he has made in saying we're going to stand with this prayer movement. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to 43 more cities. This is our second city. We have 43 cities to go before this is over. And our bishop has opened up not just the church but our jurisdiction to offer us the opportunity to kick our year off like this. Yeah. Only God. Can we praise God? Thank you. Can we, thank you for standing up. Can we praise God for a leader, leaders like this? Thank you. Whenever God gives us a breakthrough, we pretty much call it done. We don't spend extra hours if we got our breakthrough. And our bishop has put a cap on this tonight like none other. Let me just say this to you, because we do have some time, because we're not out of time, but we're just going to close early. So we do have time to say this, and I mean this sincerely. I thank God for a woman of God who prays and lives close to God, like you do, Sister Shelby. Let me say this. Before y'all clap, before y'all continue clapping, let me say this. There's a lot of things that you are um, worthy to receive honor for. I mean, you're a great mother, wife, 
servant of the Lord. So many things that you um, exemplify. But I love your consecration. I love your walk with God. It's not something that is done with effort. It's effort. Every time you move toward a microphone, a stage, or sitting, you can feel the presence of God on your life. And I want to say that I appreciate that. I get to follow somebody who's following God. I love that. I love that about her. Can y'all clap real good for that? I love it. We're going to move on. And the Lord spoke to me September 13th, 2017, and said, I want you to travel across the country this year. He said, and I want you to do it differently than what you normally do. I've been in itinerary ministry now for over 20 years. We have standing engagements that we do every single year, places we visit and revisit all the time. And the Lord said, this year I want you to, to dispense with your normal itinerary and I want you to do a prayer tour. And I don't want you to do honorariums, I don't want you to, to do travel expenses, I don't want you to do hotel expenses, I want you to trust me and don't be a burden on the local churches. And I said, okay. I heard the voice of God. I called my bishop and told him what the Lord told me. He said, well, you're going to be in Westland. We're going to make sure that we support what God is doing. And doors open to us across the nation and around the world. Several countries we'll visit this year, East Africa, South Africa, Canada, and some of the islands. Just taking prayer around the world. Let me just say this. It is different every time. And you, know, you, you, have a, you, you have a mind how you want things to go. It's different everywhere you go. Every space, place is different. But tonight, this has been a launching for us in a sense that I've heard some things and I've even got some instructions while sitting here. And I praise God because everything we do, we learn as we go. We have a great team that's traveling with us this year. And uh, along with the 43 cities that we are visiting in the three countries, we have regular itinerary ministry that we're trying to fulfill. So I'm asking for your prayers, and I'm going to be a pastor too. I promised my church I was not going to leave them hanging because we're moving. I'll be home every Sunday and Tuesday to be with our people. But it's a mandate that I could not escape because God said, I want you to challenge a system that needs to be corrected. And so we dispense it with all our contracts, all of our everything. Just we're going on honor and integrity. And we want to heal some pastors that's been hurt by the prophetic ministry that has come through and just sort of left the people hurting. We want to heal some wounds this year. Would y'all pray for us as we do that? We want to heal some wounds this year. The Bible says in the book of Acts, and this is my closing statement. Acts 4 and 30, 29, 30, 31. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And the Spirit of God fell upon them and they began to speak the Word of God with boldness. 2018 is bigger, better, bolder. 2018 is the Hebrew year 5778, which means possessing the gate of your enemy. He says to, to Abraham in, Jeremiah, in, in Genesis 22, 17, because you did not withhold your own son, I'm going to bless you and make you the father of many nations, and your seed shall possess the gate of his enemy. Genesis 24, 60, they go to find Rebecca. Rebecca finally agrees to go home with Eliezer to meet Isaac, who is the seed of Abraham. Her brothers pray a prayer over her as strange. They say, may the Lord God make you the mother of thousands of millions, and may your seed possess the gate of his enemy. They had no idea that was the same prophecy Abraham had received in Genesis chapter 22. And then when Joseph became the uh, second to Pharaoh in Egypt, that was fulfillment of the prophecy because he possessed the gates of Egypt. He became the gatekeeper of Egypt. Then when Jesus was born and brought us in through the engrafted word and said to us to the apostle Paul in Galatians that if we are in Christ, are you not the seed and the children of Abraham? So that when Jesus said in Matthew 16 that upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell should not prevail, that means 2018 you're going toward the gates of hell. 
and everything hell has gated in around your life, you're going to possess it this year. He put a gate around your family, but you're going to get your family back. He put a gate around your finance, but you're getting your finance back. He put a gate around your health, but you're getting your health back. This is a year to possess the gate of your enemy because we are the seed and the children of Abraham by faith. And if I be a man of God and stand here and tell you the word of the Lord, that this year is important to be connected to the right people. This is a year of divine alignment and apostolic alignment. You better get with the right people because then the blessing hits the head. It is going to run down to the beard. It's going to reach the skirts. It's going to hit the hem of the skirt. I don't care where you're positioned in the body. Just get in the body and get in there right. Because the same anointing, I walked around this building tonight. I don't care what y'all say. I'm putting on the same robe my bishop putting on. You understand that wherever he goes, I get to go. If I can send him and make sure he gets there, he'll take me with him. As Saul's servant, can't you give a little bit and get somewhere in the Holy Ghost? Possess the gates this year. Bishop, he said, bigger, better, bolder. You already big. You already better. You already bold. You one of the boldest men I've ever met. No, I'm serious. You will go out there. Like your faith take you to some places that's like, whoa. And I'm asking God, give me like faith to step out on zero. And the Lord's going to, God's going to reward you this year for stepping out on nothing. And everything you put your hands to do, God's going to meet the need for it. You're not going to be left hanging with the bag in your hand. He's going to give you overflow. Debt cancellation is coming to burning bush. You're going to be a debt-free ministry, a debt-free jurisdiction. You ain't going to, you ain't going to drown in this God. is going to raise you up and make you like Abraham. Y'all looking at me funny. Y'all ought to be praising God. Because if he's going there, I'm going with him. I've never said anything in 35 years that God didn't tell me to say. I've never done it. They try to make me prophesy, Bishop. A lady came. She pushed my belly. She said, there's a word in your belly. I said, ma'am, don't do that. She said, no, prophesy, prophesy. She kept poking me. I said, ma'am, I'm asking you not to do that. And she said, say the word. Say the word of the Lord. I said, the heavens are closed over this place. And there'll be no word here till it dries up. Two years later, it was shut down. And today, it's an abandoned building. Because if God ain't talking, I'm not talking. And I don't need to be, I don't need to be, be friends with Bishop. We are already friends. I don't, have, I don't prophesy friendly words. I'm telling you, you're walking in the shoes of our father Abraham. And because you stepped out on nothing, 2018 is the year you possess the gate. It's the year every gate that's been set up to hold stuff back from you, you'll walk right into it. You have access. And everybody who stands with him becomes a gatekeeper. Everybody who stands with this man in 2018, you become a gatekeeper. You'll receive an assignment to keep the gate. I wish I had five of y'all who was on my side. I leave you with this word. I leave you with Galatians 4 and 29. You are blessed with Father Abraham. If we can be heirs of God and join us with Christ, what is it to be a child of Abraham? He said, don't brag about that because I can be stones raise up children of Abraham. I can find somebody to get that lineage. And there remains a rest. And this will be our year to enter into that rest. So as we travel, I pray that you would be a part of the Mighty 700. It's simple. Your email address will add your name to the growing numbers. We have people signed up from all over the world. And in October of 2018, all 700 prayer warriors are coming to one, sp one spot for an international prayer gathering. Our bishop is going to be one of our speakers for that event. It's going to be held in Saginaw, Michigan, the blooming metropolis of Saginaw, Michigan. Can I say this? You from Saginaw. I went to Saginaw 18 years ago. The downtown was a ghost town. I stood across the street from something called Yaks or something like that, Yaks. It's a, 
a cold, some place cold. And I began to prophesy to those builders. People were laughing at me because I was saying, and you will be a high rise and apartments will be in you. I said, there'll be a riverfront uh, development and houses built on the riverfront. I put a prophecy out and I published it in the paper and they laughed. But today we have a riverfront houses built on the Today we have buildings downtown. And when I tell you Saginaw gonna touch the world. Watch what I tell you. Can any good thing come out of Saginaw? If Salani is blessed because Saginaw produced something. Westland is blessed because Saginaw produced something. And I promise you, I'm going to hold your town down. I'm going to hold it down for you, Bishop. I promise you. I ain't going to make you shame. We're going to buy everything that's for sale. Amen. In Jesus' name. We're going to do it. I love my wife. I want y'all to know that. She's the best thing ever happened to me in this whole world. Amen. So you can join the Mighty 700 simply by going to themighty700.com. Leave an email address or add your name to the calling numbers of those who are praying across America. We'll send you some information about prayer. The eight watches of prayer. We'll teach you about what it means to have a prayer watch. Send you information, and we'll be doing some Facebook Lives and that kind of thing. You can follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Snapchat, and whatever else they come out with. Amen. Whatever we raise in these meetings, we take that, and we go to the next city. That's simple, that's simple how we do it. Call all the red tape out. To God be the glory for the things he has done. And when we meet together in October, you should plan to come. October 3rd to the 8th. You gotta put it in your calendar right now and say, I'm going to Saginaw. And see these 700 people come together and pray like we did here tonight. Or we're gonna shake some stuff up in Jesus' name. I love you, Burning Bush. I love you, Southwest Fifth. I love you, everybody that's here. Kingdom Life, thank you. You know I love you so very much. Can I just say praise God for my friend, the assistant supervisor of the 30 ecclesiastical jurisdiction of Southwest Michigan? Amen. The one and only evangelist, Dr. Taylor, is with us tonight. Mother Taylor. <laughs> Would you help me praise God for my friend, Pastor Dana Davis, the administrative pastor of the Celebration Church of Detroit, where Greg Davis is the lead pastor. Amen. Dana <laughs> Barry. Okay. And my sweet mama who helped me out tonight. I love my mama. She's a praying woman, and she's a sanctified woman. Bless my mother tonight. All right, all of our team members, thank you. My daughters are here. From, this is my college baby. She just, that first week away from home. And I stayed up every night. She didn't have class today, and I got up in all that, uh, we gotta say it was snow all everywhere. I got out there in all that snow and picked my baby up. You better believe it. I said, when you got, a, when you got out of class at 11, 10, I'll be there. Well, the weather got so bad, I couldn't get there at 11 but as soon as I could get there, I was there. I drove like 20 miles an hour in some spots. My whole thigh and tailbone was hurting from all them, from breaking and breaking, but I was going to get my baby. And she wanted to come to prayer. She said, Dad, I want to come and be at the prayer. Yeah, I'm picking you up. <laughs> On a bicycle. And my baby girl is over there. That's my youngest daughter. She's over there. I don't usually, they don't, they don't, they don't like me to call them out. But I'm doing it tonight for, for some reason. I don't even know why. Cece's there. Hey Amen. My other daughter, Dawn, is there. It's my first adopted child. And she, she's married to some guy with his hand. We're still praying. No, he's a wonderful man. He's our first elder we ever ordained in our church. Amen. All right? I don't know why I did that, because it's 3 o'clock, I guess. So, Bishop, you're going to come? And um, I want y'all to receive my bishop yeah. with the greatest welcome you could have.
Amen. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Let's, let's release some strength into the soul, into the life of Bishop Al Vernis Johnson. Come on, encourage him tonight. Come on, he don't need our encouragement. Come on, but let's, let's give him our love. Let's give him our support. Come on, let him, let him feel you. Let him feel you. Come on, clap your hands. Let him feel you. Come on, 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 let him take some strength from your strength tonight. Come on. Amen. You might be seated. Amen. Tonight is one of 43 more cities that he has to attend. And certainly, God has called him for this mission. And God has called him for this purpose. Amen. We bless him on tonight. How many of you all were blessed by this service? Amen. One more time. How many were really blessed by this service? I'm going to ask you to do something for me. He, he told you his, his mission and the purpose of the Mighty 700 Club. He shared with us that he has 43 more cities to go. He's not putting a, a, a financial burden on any of the churches. Whatsoever they give, that's what he's taking. He's not going in with any, um, any amounts, any mandates. His sole purpose is prayer. And how many know prayer changes things? We need, we need more men and women that are committed to prayer. As I was sitting there, I, I thought about a number that I wanted us to give to help to push this vision to the next level. And the number that came in my spirit, and I, and I prayed and I asked God, what is that number? And he said, the number 50. Now, often when we think of the number 50 from a biblical perspective, the first thing that comes to our mind is jubilee, celebration. But 50 also represents another number, or, or another term, I should say. The number 50 also represents release. Because it is, the, it, it is in the year of jubilee that everything that is bound, is release. It is, it is in the number 50 or in the year of Jubilee that every debt that has been made is canceled. And so God says, release a number of 50 that's going to cancel everything the enemy is trying to do. Then I said, how many people God will give that, that $50? He said, ask for 43 people which will represent those 43 cities. Because in every city that he goes in to pray, there's going to be a release and there's going to be a cancellation. And God's going to do something supernatural in every city that he steps in. How many believe that tonight? Come on, how many believe that tonight? I need you to sow a seed for every city. There are... There are six people who, lives, who live in my house now, and, and so all six of us are giving $50 a piece. That's $300. That means we need 37 more people. We need 36 more people. Stand. 35. 34 more people. Stand. 33 more people. 32. 31. 29. 28. 27. 26. 25, 24, 23. We need 23 more people. We got 23 more cities that's waiting on you. 23, 22, 21. We got 21 more cities that's waiting for this spirit of release and cancellation. Come on. Yes, we are taking swipes. Yes, we can swipe. That's 20. Oh, the Clifton count. If you're, if, you're, if you're going to stand to represent a city, raise your hand, and, and he's going to count. Just raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you're giving $50 to represent a city, to represent a city. Oftentimes, most people give when they can give with the expectation of getting something back for themselves, i.e., 
a car, a house, a breakthrough, and it's all related to me. But I've come to find out that when you can commit yourself to making other people's dreams come true, and when you can see the bigger picture of the kingdom, because when Bishop was talking about the woman who swept her house when she lost a coin, and when he was talking about the shepherd who left 99 sheep to go after one, the first part of that scripture says, and the kingdom of heaven is likened unto. Yeah. 